If you guys are carrying around one of these Baofeng radios in your go bag and it's not programmed, you're essentially carrying a bunch of dead weight. In today's video, we're going to show you how easy it is, how simple it is, the tools that you need to get your Baofeng programmed, as well as probably the biggest blocking point when it comes to programming radios. We're going to show you how to get over that trick. Real simple. So let's get to the video. We're going to go over to the computer because most of this is going to be done on the computer. And this is going to plug into the USB of your computer. The other side is going to plug into your radio. This right here is the tricky part. I'm going to show you the trick to getting this to make sure it's installed properly. And we're going to be using a program that's free and it's from a company called Chirp and I'll have a link down below so you guys can download that. And I'm gonna walk you through this process. It's gonna be really, really simple. I do have to say this before we get into the programming because I've had a handful of people say, why do you even want to program your radio? If it's not programmed, it's not gonna be able to help you in an emergency. We're gonna to go to chirpmyradio.com. I'm gonna show you this both on the Windows and the Mac because they're a little bit different, but I do wanna show you this warning page. This right here is gonna be a screenshot of the Mac. You can see it. It tells you right here up in the upper left-hand corner, it says, get it, we're at chirp.com. You got the little deal up here for download, but click chirp for your platform. And this is where it gets tricky, you see this? Click here to continue. Um, don't do that, because this is an ad. See this right here? And I don't know why this page is so full of the ads, but don't, down, don't hit that. It's gonna be downloading junk, especially if you got a Windows computer. And here's where you wanna go. It's gonna say the download the Chirp Next build here. So you click on that, and then it takes you to this page that we're on now. This one here for the app is going to be for the Mac application. You can see it's highlighted green because we're on the Mac. It knows we're on a Mac. This one right here, whether you got the Windows 64 or the Windows new Windows computers or the Win 64. So you'd, you'd click that, download that. And then it's just a standard installation. Once it gets downloaded, you go to your downloads, double click it, and go ahead and start the program. So that's where we're gonna pick up right now. All right, so double click on the Chirp once you get it on your Windows deal. If you guys are curious, you can pick up one of these Windows laptops for like 150 bucks at Walmart. This one, this side over here is gonna plug into the radio. This goes into the computer. We can go ahead and do that now. Then on the side of your radio, you've got these, they're gonna match. You got a big one and a small one, just shove them in there. Now, here's where the tricky part comes in. When these radios are new and this component here is new, these are really tight fit. And it'll feel like it's in there. Keep pressing that thing until you hear it click. That's what messes up most people when they go to program these. Smash that thing in there really hard like you mean it, or it's, it may even pick up the radio, but it's not gonna do anything. After we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn your radio on about halfway. Okay, so once you're over here, we've got Chirp pulled up, we've got our radio plugged in. You're gonna go over here to radio, go to download from radio. You're gonna click the COM port, whichever one you think it is, Baofeng UV5RM. It does not say UV5RM plus, but this does work. So we're gonna download from the radio. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of things only takes a couple of minutes for it to download. Okay, so this is right straight out of the radio. You can see that these are the things that are programmed into your radio from the factory. This is where they do the testing. We're gonna go ahead and, I, want, I just wanna point out one thing real quick. If you look at this one, 138, 5500, it's highlighted there. Let's go over here to the band frequency. Here it is, band frequency. <sighs> This is a two meter radio, so you got from 144 to 148. And then your 70 centimeter, you got from 420 to 450. So let's go back to chirp real quick. And if you look, this is out of band. This is out of band. 
There's several of these that are out of band. By the FCC laws, you're not supposed to be operating a radio out of band. So again, this is just from the factory. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna select the top one, hold down the shift key, click on that, and then you can come over here to edit. And we're gonna delete. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to this query source. We're gonna go to repeater book and it's going to have it pops up United States on your amateur band here on service you can click amateur or GMRS since we've got an amateur radio we're going to stick to that one and just to make this video simple we're going to go stick with Alaska Alaska we're going to hit only certain bands because we know our radio only works with 70 centimeters and 2 meters click that box hit OK then what it's going to do if you notice we got a new tab up here now so here's all your repeaters in the Alaska area so to transfer these over as a good example we're going to click up here at the top one highlight it see how it's highlighted scroll all the way down to the bottom and then we're going to hit shift and click it at the same time that way they're all highlighted again go up here and hit edit copy or Command C, Control C if you're on a Mac. Now, this is coming from Reader Repeater Book, this tab up here. It says Repeater Book. We're going back over to our radio. Now we're going to go to just click this number one right here, and then we're going to go to Edit, Paste. It's going to pop up this new window here. Some memories are incompatible with this radio. This radio does not support the DMR. It doesn't support D-Star or the DN mode. That's all normal. These are for different radios that have different capabilities. So just hit OK. And if you notice, it left some of these blanks in here because these are going to be either D-Star, DMR type radios or whatever else. Now then, it's real simple. All you got to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to write this to the radio. So you go back up here to the top tab at the very top of the page up here and we're going to go to upload to the radio it's going to show you where your radio is already connected you notice it won't let you change it now and then you're just going to hit ok and then this is basically telling you how to make sure you got your radio connected and all that you're going to hit ok and then it's cloning to the radio and you'll see the radio is got a little port up there and it's it's done so I'll unplug the radio real quick and kind of show you how simple and quick that was so you can kind of see you just use your up and down arrows And it's that simple. We've got everything programmed. So that's real simple. All you have to do is make sure that when you're programming this thing, you shove that thing all the way in there. A lot of times it won't show you on the computer that your radio is plugged in. Nine times out of 10, that's what the problem is, is you've really got to shove that thing in there hard and you'll hear it click to get to the weather station real quick. On. Long hold, you'll hear her say on. And now it's off. As far as licensing requirements go, as I mentioned, to run one of these radios, you need the technician license, which is a ham radio license. That test is real easy, guys. I passed it. If I can pass it, you can pass it. In next week's video, I'm going to actually show you how to use your programmed radio. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing down below. If you learned anything in this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. We'd love to hear comments from you. Do you have a Baofeng? How do you have yours programmed? Tell me what frequencies you think are the best ones to have in your ham radio and why. Comment down below. Let us know what's your favorite frequency. I hope each and every one of you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen. Today, we're going to be using Chirp to program our Baofeng radio. Chirp, 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 chirp. Ha, ha, ha.